we're going to be doing 10,000 bow staff spins. I'm going to be doing 10,000 bow staff spins, talking to you about how 100,000 spins, that's 10 different spins, 100 spins each every day for 100 days, 100,000 spins will get you to mastery of the basics of the martial arts long staff or the bow staff, the Joe, whatever you call yours. The Joe is the medium sized staff. The uh, Jung Bong is what I was thinking of. But it's this basic idea that if you put in a little bit of work every single day, it's consistency that leads to mastery, not massive effort over one or two days, but consistent effort over a sustained period of time. So I'm talking about 10 separate basic spins, 10 basic spins. I'm gonna be using this two piece bow staff for a lot of them, but 10 basic spins, 100 spins each. And this is not the spin, this is just the warm up. So grab your staff, you're gonna warm up 30 seconds per hand, just turning it back and forth to increase flexibility in the joint, to get the blood flowing into the joint, to stay safe from injury during this workout to build strength and power in that forearm. You're gonna build power in your grip. You're gonna have a stronger grip, stronger shoulders from this exercise. Since I want you to do 100 spins of 10 different kinds, so we're gonna do 10 basic spins 100 times each, that's gonna get you to 1,000 spins in this workout. You're gonna do that for 100 days. You do it over and over, 100 days. This is a challenge. This is 100,000 spins in 100 days to achieve for you, basic level mastery. And basic level mastery might not seem like a lot, but trust me, it is. Most people never reach the basic level of mastery. This is an important accomplishment, an important feat, something that gives you speed, strength, power, balance in your hands and your techniques, your shoulders, your arms, your core will be involved. You, I promise you, if you need to, you'll lean out a little bit. You'll be much stronger in 100 days. And all it takes is 100 spins of each. We're still on the warm up. So these don't count, but these are important. So don't skip this part. Just turning back and forth, we're gonna do it in three different planes. The plane in front of your body, the plane that cuts through the middle of your body, and then the plane just directly up overhead. And I have our treadmill, not the treadmill, the tripod. I was just in the gym working out, trying to get my heart rate up. Uh, you know what I'm doing these days is I'm practicing sprints, I'm sprinting. The idea occurred to my head, what happens if I need to protect my family and they're out of arm's reach and I need to sprint there? So I've been going in and jumping on the treadmill and sprinting for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. I don't know, this is how I'm crazy, I guess. I just wanna stay physically vital. I wanna be able to protect my family for as long as I physically can. If you're going back and forth over the head, we're still in the warm up phase. What we're working on today is 10 bow staff spins. That's 100,000 spins to mastery. And that's 10 spins done 100 times each. And they're all basic spins. And this is gonna get you to that basic level mastery of the bow staff. Which what I was saying before, it's an important skill, it's an important feat. Anything that you master, it's not easy. And it's not a Herculean effort. It's not that effort that takes a massive amount of force and toll on your body and difficulty it's that daily practice it's like brushing your teeth making your bed getting up every day paying attention to the basics in life that, that we it's easy not to it's easy to pay attention it's easy not to not your teeth hopefully you're brushing your teeth but you know what i mean we're talking about the first spin with your bow is going to be an overhand butterfly spin and you're going to come here to here this is my left hand the left hand has it turns all the way up we'll call that one the right hand is over top thumb to pinky slow it down as much as i can i'm working on getting a camera rig a phone rig really because i use my phone for everything but a rig that allows you to see it from my perspective but the funny thing is i'm watching your perspective i'm not even watching my hands i'm watching you because I'm watching the camera. So I'm watching it from the same angle that I'm doing it. I don't know what, if that means anything, but that's four, five, and you get the point right here. So this is where, when you're ready, you speed it up. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And I want you to do this 50 times with the right hand on top of the left hand, turning in one direction, without stopping 
you're going to reverse directions. So now the right hand is still on top. The wrists are still in contact. It's going to turn down, and this is going to be here. I'm using the bow staff, the kind that I'm going to give away to one of you online virtual members. April 15th, I'm going to draw a name out of a hat. Whether you're a member from Patreon or if you've joined here on YouTube, I thank you very much. Or if you're not a paying member, but you're a participating member, that means you've sent me your contact information by going to Pasquinelli.com. If you're a member, paying or not, I appreciate you more than you could ever know. You give me so much strength to continue making these videos. You're gonna go 20 or 50 times in the other direction. And I'm not counting, you can count. I'm sure I've done 100,000 spins in 100 days. I'm sure I reached that mark some 30 or more years ago. And I know you're going to reach it fast. But I want you to see what it looks like. I want you to see how you can easily chunk it up. Take small pieces, put them together, 10 separate spins. That was the first spin, the butterfly spin. Number two is going to be a forward figure eight. And I'm going to do 50 with my right and you're gonna do 50 with your left. So we're gonna do 50 right, 50 left, and you're just pushing it down, leading with the thumb, side to side, stomach up and in, abs tight. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. If you want, you can do 25 in front of your body, coming across from side to side, and then you can put it to the side and you can do 25 to the front and back. This is the exact same spin. Do 25, 25, that's 50. We're gonna call that 50, I'm not counting. And then 25 here. Nice thing about this too, is that you can reach that 100,000 spin mastery just by doubling it. You can reach it in 50 days if you want. The point is to be able to visualize yourself making that kind of progress. A lot of people don't give themselves enough credit. Sometimes you give yourself too much credit or you think things are harder than they are. But when it comes to this, I just want you to have a basic idea. You don't need to gloat about it. You just say, did 100,000 spins in 100 days. Of course I know what I'm doing. Of course I'm a martial artist. No one else can say whether I am or not except me. And not me. I'm not telling you. You're going to tell yourself. I want you to feel it. That's the whole point. Whether you're a student virtually or in person, I always, when I've awarded the black belt, it's, I always tell them the same thing. I didn't give this to you. You earned it. I'm just here. I'm just the gatekeeper. I'm making sure you meet, meet the standard, but you're going to do the work. And they always do. All right. Now that's the forward figure eight. That's spin number two. Now you're 200 spins in. We're going for 1,000 spins in one workout times 100 days. It's 100,000 spins, 10 bow staff spins, 100,000 spin, 100, spins of mastery. So it's really, really sim simple. This is that. I want to show you this real quick because someone asked me this. They got this two-piece bow staff, and it, they say it loosens up in there. And I said, put some, um, some beeswax in there or some kind of wax that you would use, like... Um, you know, if you uh, put wax on the, the bottom of your ice skates, if you're up north, or you put it on your surfboard if you're down south. And I did that, and it, it's working. It's staying pretty, pretty tight. It's not starting to loosen up. So if you have one of these two-piece bow staffs, if you want to see what they look like, there's a link below. It's that first one. All right, the third spin, you're going to do this 100 times, 50 per hand. We're doing 10 spins, 10 times, or 100 times each for 100 days to get to bow staff mastery, basic level, which is 100,000 spins. 100,000 spins seems like a lot in 100 days, but it's really not. And you're going to see how it's about daily consistency. And that's what leads to mastery, doing something every single day, taking action, not thinking about it. All right, reverse figure eight. In your right hand, before you were pushing with that pinky, doing that sideways infinity sign, also known as a, or a sideways figure eight infinity sign. That's why we call it an endless spin. That's another name for it. But we also call this the figure eight, and this is in the reverse. So I was going forward. Now you're going to go reverse. 
So you're pulling it up. And like I said with the other one, do 25 in front of your body, crossing right, left, right, left, stomach up and in to increase speed. But slow is smooth, smooth is fast, or crawl, walk, run. Allow yourself to go very slowly, and you're not going to be this tight at first. And I can get it tighter. You'll get it tighter. But that's the whole point of daily practice leading to mastery. Is when you do a little bit every single day, you'll be shocked at how much better you get in a very short period of time and also how much you can get done. The saying goes, people underestimate how much they can do in the period of 100 days and they overestimate how much they can do in a period of a day or 10 days. In other words, don't wait to the last minute. Get your homework done, right? Or get that big project done at work or to go after your life's goals and dreams and ambitions. Do a little bit today, do a little bit tomorrow. And it compounds, it's just like interest, saving for your future. You put a little bit in and it grows and it compounds, it becomes more and then the interest you get becomes, high, not higher, and higher percentage, but you get more money, interest paid because you have more money and you're getting paid money on the interest you made yesterday. This is the same thing. To speed this up, squeeze this tight. It's one of the other reasons I really like this two-piece bow staff. It just really whips really fast. Good. Awesome. Back and forth to the barn. That's awesome. I also appreciate you being a member. Side to side, stomach up and in, out and back. I'm going to go sideways first, and I'll bring it back to the front because I need to do 25 to the side. And again, I'm not, I'm not really counting, but then I need to do 25 in front of my body. I did 50 here. That'll get me 50 here. And now you're in 300 kicks. And if I didn't talk so much, I could figure out how long it took us, but probably not that long. And if you're not talking, if you're not yakking to the camera, you're probably going to get there really fast. This is about a 15 minute workout. This is what I timed it at uh, when I messed around with it last week. I came up with this idea last week. You asked me, one of you guys asked me on Patreon, how do I reach bow staff mastery? Just the basics. And I said, simple. Everybody says 10,000 things, right? 10,000 reps. But I thought, well, there's at least 10 basic skills that you need to know. That was the third one, the reverse figure eight. So you have to do those about 10, um, about 10,000 times each times 10, that's 100,000. How do we break that down to make it a daily discipline, like brushing your teeth, like making your bed? All right, number four, wrist roll. And I'm gonna show you wrist roll to the thumb side first. That's gonna be number four. So if you're writing these down, what I'll do is I'll put the list in the link below after Oh, and I'm doing the wrong side. There's go thumb side. So you're just gonna do thumb side, thumb side. And this one, this is nice because this naturally has a mark where the, the two-piece bow snaps together or spins together, screws together. So right there, that's about the point of balance on the staff. This thing's like perfectly balanced too, by the way. If you, if you have, I know some of you guys have gotten these already, but I'm gonna send one of these out to somebody who's a member either here or on Patreon, or if you're not a paying member, that's good too. You're still eligible. I'm gonna put all your names in the hat. All you have to do is go to pasquinelli.com and sign up there where it says, send me a message. My watch keeps getting in the way. So take your watch off. But watch this. Here's why I uh, note this. This is why this is important. In order for this to not end up with one long side and one short side and fall to the ground, you have to, as you're spinning, be sliding your hand up and back or the staff, if you want to do it a different way, back into the center, center of your hand. So as your hand's going around, I'm making these small adjustments, which to me at this point, because I'm probably, I don't know, 100 million spins in, and I don't even know how to count. I don't even know how to count. I've been doing it since I was a kid, and I'm an old man. So I've been doing it for a long time, and probably almost every single day. And I know for a fact, for years, I would spin a staff every single day. It's that daily discipline. But you're going to go around the back of your hand, thumb side, 50 times with one hand. That's my left. Here's my right. And then 50 times. And... These will probably take the longest time because at first you're going to drop it a lot and then you're going to drop it less. 
and then you're going to drop it almost never, but you'll never stop dropping it. If you ever stop dropping it, that means you've stopped growing. So just take, oh good. Thanks for training with the collie sticks. Thanks for being here. Um, that new movie, has anybody seen that? The Raya and the Last Dragon? That one's all about the new Disney movie. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm not paying 30 bucks to, to rent the movie in my house. Sorry, not doing it. I'll wait until it comes out. It'll be just as good. And, and I'm not shedding a tear for Disney, I'm gonna tell you, or ABC or any of those guys, Capital, whoever owns a, uh, Disney now. So I'm not shedding for any Hollywood actor who's not getting paid. <laughs> not that I'm being mean or anything. I'm just saying, good evening. It's good to see you since Amit. Just bringing her over the back. I was sharing the video. Since Amit sent me a beautiful video from Donegal. I keep saying Donegal, and my Irish, my Irish father-in-law corrects me every time, Donegal. So we were, um, he was telling me, it was funny. You sent me on St. Patrick's Day, since Amit sent me this beautiful video of where he lives, his beautiful hometown in Ireland, Donegal. And if you haven't gone to St. Amit's channel yet, you've got to go there. He's got some of the best interviews of martial arts luminaries, excluding me. I'm in there. So I don't know how I made the cut, but martial artists on his site, you guys will learn so much watching those interviews. All right. That's number four. So we're doing uh, 10,000 bow staff spins or a hundred thousand bow spins to mastery to achieve the basic level. That's 10 spins, a hundred spins each. Two hands, you cut it in half, that's 50 spins. So now you have 50 spins per hand times 10 spins. That's a hundred or a thousand spins a day. It's like brushing your teeth. It doesn't take that long. Uh, it'll take a little bit longer than brushing your teeth probably. But if you do that for a hundred days, you'll have hit 100,000 spins. And spinning this thing is gonna become like walking down the street, like breathing. It's gonna become second nature to you because you'll achieve the basic level of mastery, which is just kind of that uh, sixth sense where your hands have their own feel for it. And you know what you're doing all the time. Without, and you'll stop dropping it. It won't drop very much at all, except for when you try new stuff, which will be exciting. All right, so that was number four, which is a wrist roll. Uh, we'll re review real quick. Butterfly spin was number one with one hand on the top going in both directions. So that's 50 one way and then 50 the other way. And then number two was the forward figure eight. Number three was the reverse figure eight. Number four is that thumb side wrist roll. Now number five is gonna be the pinky side wrist roll. And you're gonna to have to do the same thing as it comes around. That's that center of this two piece bow. And then you're going to have to slide, use, once you get it back up here, let the gravity pull your staff as you close your hand around it and get back to the middle. If not, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get one very long side and one very short side, and it's gonna fall and you get frustrated and you'll think, how's he get his hand back to the middle? Here's how. As you go there, slide it. Once it's here, it's here, gravity takes it, and it's all about calming down. You just have to calm yourself enough because you're gonna to wanna to pop it over and grab it real quick so it doesn't drop. That's, that's instinctive. So you have to, this is, martial arts is like that. Almost everything in martial arts is counterintuitive. Not out, almost everything, a lot of things. So it's counterintuitive to slow down right when it feels like it's gonna fall and hit the floor and then allow it to slide back into the center. So you're gonna do this 50 times right, 50 times left. Now we're up to five bow spins, five spins. That's 500 a day. If you did that for 200 days, you'd reach mastery in 200 days with 100,000 bow spins. But we're gonna cut it in half. And then of course, if you want to cut it in half again, bring it down to 25 days. If you have a lot of extra time, this here is the two piece staff. Let me show you the other one. Here's if you have, this is if you have low ceilings, right? By the way, once you do the, um, the one side, the thumb side, and then you do the pinky side, you can then put them together and practice back and forth. You can give this to you as a bow, a bonus spin. Do a hundred of these or 50 per hand, and then do 1,100 a day. But this, I just wanted to show you, this is the shorter one. So if you went to the link below and you were looking at like, what size are they? This is the shortest one, this is the medium, the six foot, and then the one I have out there on the wall is the six, six and a half foot, which is really cool. Um, 
But these, but and then the other thing I like about these, I, I think I've shown this a few times, is that you get one of these because you're stuck at home. It's still COVID or whatever. When are they ever going to stop that? But anyway, we, we can't control it. We might as well do something fun about it. So we're training. Now you've got collie sticks, right? Or you've got double-bladed lightsabers. And you can practice sword striking techniques. Or you can practice stick fighting. All with one weapon. It's really versatile. The only thing that I'll say is that if you think you're going to buy one of these and use it for self-defense, you can't. You shouldn't because it's very fragile. It's not very fragile. It's fragile enough that it'll break and then you'll be, you know, if you start smashing against bags or stuff. The other thing I'll say, and this has it just popped in my head. We're going on, going on to number six. Um, and I'll do that. I'm going to start to raise it up because it's going to be overhead spin. Um, have you seen those online? Uh, they're those little uh, trick. It's a staff about this big. It's got a little pin in the end. And you pop it open and it says, like, take with you wherever you go, expandable bow staff. That's not what that is. They're lying to you. That's some Alibaba, AliExpress uh, trash, <laughs> garbage that's so thin that metal is going to slice your hand open. And I only know that because someone sent one to me and said, can you please make a good video on this so I can sell a bunch? And I said, send it to me and I'll make an honest video. And I couldn't even make the video because the first time I spun it, it just broke all into pieces. And then I tried to put it back together so I could make the video and I sliced myself with it. And I thought, they're gonna sell these to kids, young people, wanting to get an inexpensive, portable thing, not for self-defense, but just so they can have one because it's hard to find these sometimes. And um, I was so angry. <laughs> I said, this thing's garbage. It, and it is, you guys all agree with me who've had them. They're just trash. So if you see those, don't fall for that. If they come around every once in a while. It's real popular on Instagram, TikTok. People make videos and they make it seem like they're really useful. But I know for a fact that they've either stuck a pole in it so it doesn't fall apart, which it will the way it's made after they've expanded it, or they're going slow enough and they're doing things super slow. As soon as you go fast with those, they just fall apart. So don't, don't get one of those. All right. Yeah, we can, can do a Zoom call. Um, go to pascal.com. Reach out to me. I use Facebook too. Facebook, I've got this device that allows me to Zoom all around the room. And I work with some students who uh, read lips. And so it'll follow me everywhere. But I do a lot of lessons, um, Zoom calls or whatever. Just send me a message, pascalonly.com. Uh, take this over your head. And you're going to start that warm-up we already did. You turn it out. And you're going to bring it back. This is number six, which is the overhead spin. We're going to do one, two, one, or three, four, five, six. And you got it. You're going to 100. 10. 11, 12, 87, 92, 98, 99, 100. And I know that wasn't really 100, but I'll let you do 100. That's number six, overhead spin. Number seven, start to the side. You're going to come behind your back and pull it back out. And I'm going to drop it a little bit, and we'll go back up if we need to. I put the uh, tripod on a stand today so that you could see me fully extend. By the way, if you've ever hit yourself in the head with an overhead spin, it's because your elbow's bent. There's no other way to hit your head unless your elbow's bent or you drop it. So you have to fully extend your arm in order not to hit your head, and then you'll never hit your head again. So if you're hitting your head, troubleshoot it. Your arm's probably bent. Get your elbow straight. Build the back of your shoulder. This is going to make the shoulders super strong, by the way, practicing with the bow. Right hand, I'm going to take it behind my back and bring it out in the left. This is a behind the back spin. And when I'm behind my back, it's literally going to look like something like this, right? Thumb the pinky again. And so this is going to be my right hand. I'm going to turn around. It'll be on your right this time. And I bring it back and up. My elbow's bent. My thumb on the right hand, whichever hand brings it behind the back first, that thumb's going to be facing this guy. The other hand's going to come thumb to pinky. So the left hand's going to come thumb up. And I'm just going to slide it between my back and the staff and then pull it out. So I go here, pull it out, pull it out, eight, nine, ten, all the way to a hundred times. Just behind the back and out. And that is number uh, seven, behind the back. And then if you want to, go overhead and behind the back, start to put those together behind the back. I need to get that shorter staff here in a minute, but, and then go the other way. 
do 50 one way, 50 the other way, if you're an overachiever. Put them together, and then you'll get up to 1,200 on that. All right, now, number eight, or number seven. Yeah, that's number eight. Number eight, we gotta go back up again. This is one of my favorite ones, and it's probably one of the ones that will be hard at first, but then would be, be easier and easier and easier the more you do it. All right, so your hand is up over your head, and you're gonna start, it doesn't matter which way you turn. I like to turn out, and then I'm gonna palm spin. I'm gonna spin it on my palm, and the way you do that, if you've ever fed a horse, you know, to put your hand like this, my, worst, my, my wife works in a horse barn. Not with horses, but there, there are horses there. And um, when you go there, to feed, you gotta feed the horses, you have to open your hand or they'll eat your fingers, right? So your hand's here. Uh, I haven't done the Kubaton yet, but I've, I, but I've been teaching Kubaton in person a lot lately, which is funny you asked me that. Um, I planned on it, but I just haven't done it yet. All right, I don't know how I can get this best angle for you to see. So if I go overhead, I'm literally just making a shelf for it to, to open up like that. So, oh good. Yeah, these are hunter jumpers. Maybe some dressage horses. The polo players don't let you get that close to their horses. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I've never gone across the street to the polo, polo grounds, but I'm pretty sure they don't want you messing around. All those horses can be ridiculously expensive. I think someone, someone here recently just got a, another $6 million horse. And so if you think about it, it's probably um, your fingers are less expensive than those horse's teeth. All right, so one side and the other one. So you're just going side to side. And I really appreciate you guys joining. The memberships really helped me keep this thing going. Um, thank you, Martial Arts Edge. Really appreciate that. My fingers are open. As I go overhead, I'm going to do... 50 or 25 in each direction. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do poor technique. You want your, your arm as straight as you can, but there might have to be a little bit of a bend. You're going to work this in. This is going to become kind of a cool, and you can spin it more than once. You can spin it really fast more than once. It looks really cool, and it turns into other techniques. 50 with each hand, and then... We're at number nine. We're almost done. So now you're 800 spins in, probably a 12 minute workout. You do that 100 days in a row, that's 80,000 spins. Um, you know, but we're not gonna do that, it's 800 a day. We're gonna go to 1,000 a day, 10 bow staff spins, done 10 times each. You've got two hands, cut it in half. Sometimes you can do 25 in one plane, 25 in the other plane breaks it up, builds your skill, your strength, your capacity, and then you multiply that over 100 days, daily discipline, brushing your teeth. Mastery comes with a little bit of effort every single day, consistent effort. If you wanna learn a new language, practice something every single day. That's what you have to do. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, you know what? I don't, always, I don't always remember that that's uh, Larry and Danny, but, um, and I'm assuming it's probably Larry today. I don't, why am I assuming? I don't know. Maybe you're both sitting there she could chill with, the, you know, rock or whatever, playing the guitar. Either way, Danny and Larry, I very much appreciate that very much. And I've been watching your, your bow videos. They're excellent. You're doing a great job. Keep those going. Uh, go see Marshall Eds and check out. He's teaching a lot of good bow stuff, uh, stuff too. Go check that one out. Um, skip catch, number, number nine. Everybody's favorite, the skip catch. And you can go skip catch one way or you can go skip catch the other way. And when you drop it, pick it up. The, the key is not to drop it. So dropping it is a good sign. You skip catch one way, skip catch the other way. They're both a skip catch. One, it's just like the butterfly spin. I call this an, a, a deconstructed butterfly spin. After the idea, I'm gonna lower you a little bit. I don't think we're going overhead anymore, so I'm gonna take you off this stand, make it a little easier for me. There we go. Uh, the reason, the reason it's a little harder is because it's high, I'm doing everything up here, and, which is good. It's a good workout for me. It burns out the shoulders. But the skip catch, you just, you do one way or the other. I call it a deconstructed butterfly spin because it's really a butterfly spin. 
There's the butterfly spin you started with. This was number one. This is number nine. And there's a little bit more movement of the hands. You can start to get it going faster and faster. It doesn't have as much control, but it looks good, right? It looks good. People see this all the time. You'll see this in TV shows. Probably Morgan from The Walking Dead. They're doing what he calls it, Aikido staff. This is Aikido staff's a Joe, by the way, not the long staff. And but he's not, he's not doing anything like that. He's doing like American Karate tournament style stuff. Or Tyler Lautner. What movie was he in? He was uh, he played the vampire, or was he the wolf werewolf in those teenage heartthrob vampire movies? I don't even remember. Anyway, you're going to go 25 or 50 times one way and then go the other way. There we go. I think I already did that one. Sometimes it's hard to remember. There we go. Which hand's on top. And the more you do, the more you're going to get. You'll keep going and keep going. Skip, catch. Twilight. Thank you. Yes, Twilight. All right. He's an American Karate uh, Tournament. Guy, XMA, I think maybe he was, uh, was he, um, Larry, you might know, was this, was uh, Tyler Lautner one of the West Coast guys, meaning Ernie Reyes, or was he a Mike Chat? These guys are all connected. We all say Mike Chat because we can't say his last name that well. Chatterat about something like that. But he was the gold standard. He was the one that kicked it all off and codified it with um, XMA, and then Roland Osborne came along and I'm doing great today. It's good to see you guys. Roland Osborne, Roland Osborne. Is that it? Am I saying it right? I can't even think straight. He came along uh, with uh, Hyper Pro, Hyper Pro Martial Arts. And I'd have parents come to me all the time because we did a lot of, I'm doing a lot of hyper still, but I call it tricking martial arts. And they'd say, why do you call it hyper? Hyper is a bad thing. We don't want our kids to be more hyper. And I'd say, you know, hyper means more than, you know, like hypertrophy, hyper, no, they just didn't get it. So great concept, great ideas, a really challenging name for if you didn't live on one of the coasts. I'm sure it worked really well in Huntington Beach, California, or in uh, Manhattan or whatever, Brooklyn, the Bronx. But in Midwestern, Dayton, Ohio, People weren't, didn't want their kids to be any more hyper than they already were. So number 10, and the reason I put this number 10 is because after 900 spins, 500 per hand, 450 per hand, your hands are going to get a little tight. And you need to, and we've been doing closing exercises, we need to extend. So we need to open to keep them strong and healthy. This is a good stretch, by the way. If you get tight hands, do this for 30 seconds. Just back and forth. I'm just pulling and shaking, increasing blood flow into the joint of the fingers, the joints. But then to really get them strong and healthy, work on your extensor, your extensor muscles in the fingers. So we have extension and flexion. Flexion is closing, extension in this case is opening the hands. And so this is a continuous finger roll. This is the 10th th one. You're gonna do this 25 times Sorry, 50 times per hand. 50 per hand, this is my left. 50, and uh, going down, so I count this one, coming back up, two, every time I go down, that's how I count it. I don't care how you count it. By this point, you're within mark of the thousand spins in a day. You do that 100 days in a row, 10 different spins, 100 spins each, broken down 50 per hand, that gets you 100,000 spins in 100 days or basic mastery of bow staff spins. Now, there are many variations. It's like um, martial arts stances or martial arts strikes or martial arts kicks. There are only so many basics, right? There may be five or six or seven basic kinds of kicks. There's a kick to the front. There's a kick to the side. There's a kick to the back. That's three. There's a turning kick, the round kick or roundhouse, whatever you want to call it, or Muay Thai kick. Coming to the front, there's a lifting and pushing kick, but then we're going back to the front kick. So there's a variation of that, right? Variation of each different style of kick, but there are not that many more. Now, there are combinations and there are ways to do them with height, with speed, with time, with distance. 
And that's where higher and higher levels of mastery come in. But the master of the basics, if you did that front snapping kick, you did 100 of those a day, on, or 50 on each leg, 50 to each side, that's 200. 50 back kicks, you can even do them like that or do them the correct way. 50 roundhouse kicks, now what? We're up to four kicks, that's 400 kicks. You work up, you need to fight, oh, the stretching kick, the, or the axe kick up over your head, then you're at, what, 500 kicks? And then you, you add in a little jump, a jump front kick, a skip side kick, a spin roundhouse kick. Before you know it, you're doing a thousand kicks a day. You'll be extremely lean and fast and strong and better able to defend yourself. But in a hundred days, if you did it every single day, you would have a basic level of mastery and you would get there so much faster. So many people spend too much time thinking and planning and wondering and reading and watching other people's videos. Pick up your staff and start to spin. So going the other way, and if you want to, you can break this up, especially with this one, because this one will wear your arms out pretty fast because they're such small muscles, those uh, flexors and extensors. So do 25 at a time, 25 with the right, 25 with the left, that gets you to 50, go back 25 with the right, go back 25 with the left, and then that's the end. So let's review real quick. Number one, butterfly spins. Going one way 50 times, the other way 50 times, that's 100 uh, spins. Forward figure eight, 50 with each hand. You can do 50 or 25 in the front, 25 to the side. Then you do the other one, 25 and 25. Now you're at 200 uh, spins. Reverse figure eight. You really have to work on these reverses. These are hard for a lot of people, but you do these, you do these, 25, 25, both hands. Then you're in 300. Now your wrist roll on, oh, thumb side first, going over the thumb, either this way, that's another way to keep it in the middle, or just that way. This way I added this motion. I held on to it a little bit longer, just smack myself, and then pop it in and bring it around. And then 50 or 100, 50 on each hand going over the pinky side, now you're in that's 500 uh, spins. Uh, number six, overhead spins. You can either spin this way, going one way. I like to go out because it stretches more in here and gives you more control. And then behind the back, same thing, going out side to side. That's 700. And then number eight was 800 gets you to those palm spins going in one direction and back the other direction. One way, the other way. Number nine was that uh, skip catch. One, two, one, two. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Crawl, walk, run, go slowly. And like I said before, this is a deconstructed. That means like my wife orders the um, tuna fish sandwich. Deconstructed, so on the, no bread, so on the plate, it's a, low, uh, a cup of tuna fish, the lettuce is here, all the things they would put together to make the sandwich, they just put it, spread it out on the plate. So when I think of this, I think of deconstructed, right? That's the butterfly spin, that's where you started. We're almost done, so we come back to it, that's number nine. And then finally, number 10, finger rolls. Again, if you wanna see what these cost, what the links are, the different colors, because you can get these in multiple colors now, this is the two-piece bow spin. This I will draw for. You can use this now. I did my thousand spins. Now I can practice my Kali, Eskrima, Arnis, whatever other style maybe. I'm big into Star Wars and I want to learn how to do the double-bladed lightsaber fighting, fighting with two swords at once. You've got something to practice with. Um, if you're a member, if you're a member on Patreon, or here on, on uh, YouTube, you hit, click the join and join, or just, you, you don't have to sp uh, send, spend any money. Sometimes it's better, it's always better to invest your money before, or your time, invest your time before you invest your money. So maybe you're just getting into it, you're just trying it out, but go to pasquinelli.com and send me a message where it says contact me and say, hey, I wanna be entered in that contest and I'll put your name in the drawing. You don't have to uh, send me anything. Just being here and working out with me and training with me is thanks enough. So um, I got to go run some errands. I'll be back in a little bit and I'll see you guys just a little bit. Thanks so much.